welcome guys back to the crazy hands knitting and crocheting channel and in this video tutorial I would like to demonstrate you how to knit a rectangular scarf easy scarf beginner for beginners I personally done this uh, scarf within two hours and it can be done from any yarn you have uh, so just follow the measurements that I'm going to tell you for this scarf uh, I was using, just a second, I was using uh, 9 millimeters in knitting needles uh, and uh, the yarn is usually my favorite one for fast projects, uh, wool is thick and quick yarn, super bulky yarn, uh, number 6 and you will need less than the half of this big skein so less than 100 grams I do recommend you to try knitting this scarf not because it's easy and fast but it really pretty and fits perfectly everyone so if you're ready let me show you how to do it using long tail cast on method leave a long tail and let's start casting on 25 stitches so right away we have two three i am doing it slowly because i've got many requests that um, I'm not showing initial cast on uh, and when you're a beginner I understand that you want to see everything but as for me I want always to make the video uh, as shorter as possible so please cast on 25 stitches If you are going to use another yarn, uh, you need to cast on mm, that number of stitches that will be equal to uh, 25 centimeters. So I know my gauge. Uh, I have about uh, 10 inches per 10 centimeters. So 25 stitches will be just a perfect number so slip the first stitch and please look how I slip it you slip it as to knit then knit all stitches till the end Knit 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 till the end and the last stitch we are also going to knit usually I purl it but we are going to knit it because we want to get a um, so knitted a special age like bumpy age decorative age turn again working yarn bring the working yarn in back like this and slip the first stitch as to knit then again knit all other stitches till the end knit knit 
it. And the last one, knit again through the front loop. Pull this tail and turn. So now you are going to repeat everything. Just knit all stitches back and forth. Don't forget to slip first stitch as to knit and knit the last stitch. And like this, work uh, back and forth, back and forth until the piece reaches 45 centimeters. Here I am, and that's what I have. Let's measure it now. So the width, as I said, 25 centimeters. And the length. almost 45 and now we are going to bind off for this scarf as I am working in garter stitch I have found that I can use a Icelandic bind off method it's a really interesting method so let's learn it together insert your needle as to curl pick up the next stitch Rub the yarn and pull through, like in between. And now drop off two stitches. Return the stitch to the left hand needle and repeat everything again. Insert as to curl. Pick up the next stitch, drop, and knit through. And drop off and return. Let's do it again. Pick up, drop, and pull through. Return. You can already clearly see that the edge repeating the pattern of the garter stitch. I mean, it looks like. So that's why it's a perfect bind off for this scarf. Otherwise, if you are going to use a usual bind off method, you can use it, no, no problem. But you will get a special braid that you usually get at the end. And it can be a little bit visible. But still, it, it will be okay, no worries. If you don't want to try this Icelandic bind off method, Please go on with the usual one. And pull through. And drop off. Go on till the end. So I've done my bind off and that's how it looks. Now you can cut the yarn but please leave a little bit longer tail than you usually leave and we are going to use it for sewing. Now 
Now what we are going to do? Place your scarf in this way. So let's measure 10 centimeters. And we are going to sew this part. So from one side measure 10 centimeters. And 10 centimeters from this side. So this part we are going to sew now. That's why we left a little bit longer tail. So take the yarn needle or tapestry needle. Uh, thread the tail. And what we are going to do, you see those bumps, uh, that edge that we've got by slipping the first stitch as to knit and uh, knitting the last stitch. So you insert the needle underneath the bumps along the edge on the right side and on the left side, just like this easier and you will not miss anything on this side on this side and from this Like this, go on sewing so two edges till the end. So, this is the wrong side. And here is the last one, just I want to insert the needle in between and from the side a little bit. That's it. So this is the right side, beautiful seam. And then you weave in ends, will not show you it now. Let's turn the scarf right side out and let me show how you're going to wear it. Simply fold it from one side and you are done. <laughs> That's it. Really easy peasy. If you are going to uh, wear it, for example, in the office, uh, you can decorate it by sewing buttons for example from this side or from that side you can also add something some appliques for example flower and the leaf or even add some beads will will also look great choose anything you like that's it guys thank you so much for watching this tutorial with me leave your comments if you have any questions the written instructions you can find on my blog and the link you can find also down below and i wish you all a good day bye